What is up, my AMC fam? What is up, my GMA family? But most importantly, what is up, my retail family? It's your boy, Mike, coming at you from. You already know, AMC Movie Theaters out here in Temeca, California. It's not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Now, it's about 11 o'clock here in the West Coast. And like I say, here in sunny Southern California, I hope everybody had a great weekend, a blessed weekend, and made some good memories. Okay, now, a couple of things I just want to get to mention. A couple of things I want to talk about. Nothing too crazy. The market's choppy. Um, you know, there's a lot of things trading sideways be very careful okay now spies i think it's somewhere up about over a one and a half percent it is green but here's the thing about it is when i talk about spy my bracket again still is at 345 to 365 to the downside for spy that's where i see body mount and i also may have to actually drop that down a touch still thinking about it you know but then again see what happens in the market okay now Something that was concerning for me that I saw over the weekend that had people reach out to me as well as I saw on Friday night, okay? People were talking about simply that the downside that we saw last week was actually the, the ending of the downside. Be prepared for a bounce and be prepared for new all-time highs. Now, where they get this information from, where it came out of, I have no idea. Even if I try to find something like that, there's no one talking about this, okay? So it could be a pipe dream, it could be a wet dream, it could be whatever you want to call it. Just hopes, okay, hopes and prayers. But then again, I want my retail family, again, be very, very careful. There's the downside to the market is not finished. It hasn't even begun. There, there's some crazy downside. Again, I'm talking about SPY being in 345, 365, and right now SPY is just about 395, okay? So there's still tons of downside. Even may drop below 345, which I'm also thinking I might have to drop my bracket down, okay? Now, again, AMC, GME, still here for a squeeze. Shirts have not covered. Uh, all those things, you know, we own the float multiple times over, and there's billions and billions of synthetic shares out in the market. Nothing hasn't changed. It is all the same. It is Monday. It's just chopping us all over the place. That's what I have regarding that, okay? Now, also, if you're on a different planet, something I do want to mention is that Top Gun comes out tomorrow. Well, I'm going to watch it tomorrow night. I'll be in Riverside at 7 p.m. at the AMC Movie Theaters uh, for the premiere. I can't, I can't wait. I'm super excited. I'm jacked to watch Top Gun Maverick. Now, if you haven't got your tickets, from my understanding, they're sold out almost everywhere. Uh, people are just buying these tickets in masses. And uh, if you if you get a chance to watch it, you know, great. I'm glad you got a ticket. For me, I'm going to see it Thursday night. I'm sorry, Tuesday night, which is tomorrow night. I'm going to see it Thursday night. I've seen it Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and Sunday afternoon. I'm going to see it five times this week, and um, I can't be more excited and more pumped, okay? Some people may say that's excessive. I do not care. I've been waiting for this movie for such a long time, and, uh, and I'm actually going to watch it again either probably tonight or early tomorrow, the regular Top Gun that came out in 1986, and have another refresher before I go over there and see uh, Goose's son hit the big screen, okay? Now, if you get that, it's not a spoiler alert. It's an all the previews and all the trailers, okay? Now, also... I do want to say this, my retail family, if you ever get a chance, just take a look at the economic calendar and see what's coming down the road, see what's coming down the pike, okay? The reason why I say this, because there's tons of hurdles this week. There's a lot of things going on. People from the Fed are speaking. There's someone speaking tonight, I believe about 7.30 uh, from Kansas City, from the Fed in the East Coast. You know, at 7.30 out here in the West Coast, it's about 4.30, okay? Now, anybody that speaks from the, Fed, in the front of the Fed, they're able to move the market in some way, shape, or form. Now, when they speak tonight, the market will be closed, will be after hours uh, to some regard, okay? Now, Jerome Powell, that name, remember, I tell you, Jerome Powell, he's a gentleman that can tear down the market with just a couple of words. He speaks tomorrow. Now, he speaks tomorrow at a convention, I believe, and it's going to be around the afternoon time. Now, I, I don't for, uh, for see him saying anything too tragic that's going to really turn down the market or, or tear down the market, but you still got GDP and job claims coming out this week, so there's plenty of hurdles, okay? So I want you to keep your head up and understand what's coming down the road. You know, even though if the market, you know, is trading sideways or maybe choppy or even a couple of stocks here and there, um, SPY, uh, even uh, Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin, I think it was at 30,000. You know, even though it's green and choppy, there's still possibility for nasty, nasty, massive downside in the market, okay? And my bracket for Bitcoin is still that $22,000 to $21,000, um, somewhere in that area when I see there's a bottom. It may possibly hit maybe high 20s, but then again, you know, we don't know what's going on. We, we have no idea where the bottom is going to be, especially with all these numbers coming out, you know, with housing, uh, inflation, and things all across the board, okay? Now, last but not least, before I let you go here, again, I want to tell you that I'm working on something. It's, it's uh, I was on a podcast not too long ago, and we talked about I think it was the hangover. We're talking about Vegas and it was a couple of stories and so forth. Well, I was speaking to these gentlemen. I'm actually going to be on a podcast again in the next few weeks. And we're going to actually, they made a suggestion. What would be a good movie to talk about, okay? And um, and they're aware of my channel and so forth. And I was like, you know what? Let's do Wall Street. And what is this? It's a podcast that talks about older movies 
And I figured that, um, and they, I thank them for the input of talking about Wall Street because everybody knows what Wall Street, Gordon Gecko, that whole thing. And I want to tie it into maybe I'll talk about what's going on with the hedge funds, what's going on with these market makers, these institutions, these banks. And, and you know, if you want to talk about AMC, GME, or the meme stock, you know, and have that conversation. It's probably be in between an hour to hour and a half to two hours long. OK, I don't know if I'm going to live stream it, but it'll be in about two to three weeks, give or take somewhere in there. That's what we're working on, okay? So again, I'll keep everybody informed on that. I'm pretty excited. I got to watch Wall Street a couple of times uh, more, even though I've seen it, you know, a dozen times already. I'm still going to watch it again and take out a, a couple of tidbits and, and, uh, and see what kind of information I can extract again uh, from the information that I know and what I see in the movie and it's related to one another, okay? So again, that's all I have. Top Gun comes out tomorrow night. And um, if you're able to get a ticket, and if you're going to be in Riverside, hit me up. I'm going to be out there hanging out with everybody. You know, I might have a couple of shorts or, or um, I don't know, I might live stream something. But definitely by Wednesday, I'll give you a preview about Top Gun because, again, I am so pumped. I am jacked, and I cannot wait for this movie. People are like, you're watching it too many times. I don't care. I literally do not care. I'm just pumped, okay? The numbers are going to be massive. The box office is going to be massive. And, again, it's going to be a great court for AMC and the movie theater uh, business in general, okay? That's all I have. My retail family, I'm here for you. God bless. Have a great day. Don't forget to um, to like and subscribe. And also, in the comments below, in the comments below, you know, you know me. You know, I like my food. Let me know what you're having for lunch. Talk to you later. Peace.